Hi everyone, my name is uh, Kirill Bobarev and uh, this summer I worked on uh, an efficient symbol, uh, uh, symbol index for Clang-D uh, at Google. Um, so Clang-D uh, is our language server uh, uh, protocol implementation uh, that provides uh, smart IDE features like code completion um, and uh, one of the focus of, um, of our team was to, uh, to improve the uh, speed and quality of code completion of, um, for global uh, symbols. So as soon as the user, uh, the code completion pipeline starts with user typing some text and requesting uh, code completion uh, through their editor, uh, and it sends, um, sends a request to ClangD, uh, which queries the index, uh, and uh, this index returns a completion list, which uh, contains some uh, variables, functions, class names, and so on. So the symbol index is uh, kind of the heart of global code completion um, for for Clang D, and we wanted to improve the performance. Um, so the new symbol index uh, is called DAX, and we wanted uh, our our vision of DAX was influenced by several factors. Uh, we wanted open source developers to be able to run global code completion without noticeable latency. Uh, we wanted it to be uh, high quality, um, and we wanted our index to scale well for, for large projects such, uh, such as LVM and Chromium. Um, so the, the information that is available for, uh, to do the index is uh, the symbol attributes. So for each symbol, we know whether it's a, a class or a function or a variable. Uh, we, like, we have information about the scope and uh, during the build stage, uh, we extract all, all this information uh, for each specific symbol. Um, using that information of the attributes, we create postal lists. Postal lists are basically uh, the, um, so we basically pre-rank uh, all the symbols using, for example, a number of references, and then for each attribute, we store lists with uh, every uh, symbol that um, is uh, like having this attribute. In this example, it's uh, every symbol that is uh, in the LVM scope. And what is important is that everything is sorted by the, uh, the uh, pre-computed rank. And to, to process the queries to get the global code completion, we just extract the set of attributes from the query and then we try to match that um, like we try to find all the symbols matching a specific set of queries expressed in the semantics of query tree. Um, so we have some logic operations on these postal lists. We can, um, we can merge uh, and, and uh, uh, intersect uh, the postal lists so that we can retrieve symbols which have certain qualities that we, we want. There are multiple uh, more sophisticated examples of operations on these postal lists, but these are the basic ones. Uh, we can just query the uh, SMV um, over, over our database to, uh, to get like small vector. So the uh, completion is fuzzy matching based. It's not the exact string matching for unqualified names. And we also have different uh, attributes to tweak the quality. And uh, this brings me to the point of um, like uh, that this uh, code completion is fuzzy matching based. So for for that to work, we have to um, we have to create a special set of attributes. So for each unqualified for each symbol's unqualified name, uh, we have to get uh, the fuzzy matching trigrams, and these trigrams allow us to. Um, uh, get more sophisticated matches. Like small vector can be um, can be um, can be retrieved uh, with uh, queries like SVAC, SMV. So we kind of get more flexibility on the query side and better quality uh, for code completion. And the results were pretty good. So DAX replaced the previous index implementation. Uh, it was like much faster, as in this example. Uh, it's like up to um, actually up to uh, sixty times faster, and it also provides more features over our last index. Uh, so we can tweak quality uh, and we can uh, also improve speed dramatically. Uh, right now, it's used for global code completion with a static index, so the index is immutable. But we are uh, we, we want to use that for incremental index uh, in the future. Um, 
and you can find out more uh, because everything is uh, like the design is public, the implementation is open source, uh, and you can uh, get instructions on how to set up your uh, global uh, index uh, in the documentation and get it running on your PC uh, and uh, on your code base. Um, thank you.